Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given uh, radical equation, square root of x plus uh, square root of negative uh, x equals to 8. In other words, we are going to find the value of uh, x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let me go ahead and move uh, this uh, square root of uh, negative x uh, on the right uh, hand side. So therefore, we are going to get uh, square root of x uh, equals to 8 minus uh, square root of uh, negative x on the right hand side. Now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square root on the left hand side. So I'm going to square uh, both sides on this side and this side uh, as well. So on the left hand side, this square and square root, they undo each other. So we ended up with the x uh, equals to. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side. So therefore, right hand side is going to become uh, 8 square is uh, 64 minus uh, 2 times 8 is uh, 16 times square root of negative x plus the square root of negative x and then a whole square. And now let's focus on this part over here, this square and square root undo each other. So we just simply ended up with the negative x. As you can see in this next step, I have replaced this part by just simply negative x uh, over here. And now let's go ahead, we can write uh, x equal to 64 minus uh, 16 times uh, square root of uh, negative x. And here positive time negative is going to give us uh, negative uh, x. And now let's go ahead and add x uh, on both sides. So on the left hand side, x plus x is going to give us uh, 2x uh, equals to and on the right hand side this is uh, gone so we ended up with uh, 64 minus uh, 16 uh, times uh, square root of uh, negative x and now we can see that this uh, equation is divisible by 2 across the board so let me go ahead and divide each and every term uh, by 2 so therefore we are going to get uh, x uh, equals to 32 minus uh, 8 times the uh, square root of uh, negative 8. Now let's go ahead and move this uh, 32 on the left hand side. So therefore we are ended up with uh, x minus uh, 32 equals to negative 8 uh, times the uh, square root of uh, negative x. Now let me go ahead and uh, take the square on uh, both uh, sides of this uh, equation. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square once again. And we are going to apply it on the left hand side uh, on this binomial. And since we are running out of the space on the left hand side, so let me go ahead and proceed uh, on the right hand side. So this uh, side is going to become uh, x uh, square minus uh, 64 x uh, plus uh, 10, uh, 24 equals to, and let's focus on the right hand side, uh, negative 8 uh, square is going to give us uh, 64, and this uh, square and square root undo each other, so we are going to get simply negative x. So therefore, the right hand side is going to become uh, negative uh, 64 x. And now we can see negative 64x and negative 64x on the right hand side, they cancel each other out. So therefore, we are going to get uh, x square plus uh, 10, 24 equals to 0. Let's go ahead and move this uh, 10, 24 on the right hand side. So therefore, we're going to have uh, x square equals to negative uh, 1000. 24. Now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking square root on the left hand side and square root on the right hand side uh, as uh, well. 
So this square and square root is gone. So therefore x turns out to be equal to and just keep in your mind that uh, i is always equal to square root of a negative one where i stands for uh, imaginary number or sometimes we call it uh, iota. So therefore on the right hand side the, this uh, negative uh, would give us uh, an uh, i. So therefore our right hand side is going to become positive and negative square root of 1024 is uh, 32 and then uh, times uh, i. So thus our solution uh, x turns out to be equal to positive or negative 32 times uh, i and if we split uh, these positive and negative signs so we're going to have uh, two solutions x equal to 32 times i and uh, x equal to negative 32 times uh, i and since we are dealing with these uh, imaginary numbers so therefore uh, no real solution exists thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye